Hey everybody, this is Reagan Adams with All Things Reagan. Thank you so much for joining me this evening or the morning time or afternoon whenever you're able to watch this video. So I'm going to try to be really, really quick. Um, I know some people are enjoying the holiday. Well, it's not a holiday, I don't guess, but Halloween. <laughs> I don't have any younger kids, so I have one daughter who's 13 going on 55, so she feels like she's too old and we never really to be honest uh celebrated halloween so it's it's not a thing in our house um uh, so she didn't want to go anywhere and that's cool uh so anyway um i wanted to pop on here i was going to actually save this uh video for tomorrow but i don't think i'm gonna have time to do it my day is kind of busy Ooh, trying to take my shoes off which i should have done earlier <laughs> <laughs> so I don't kick my ring light over. But anyway, um, for those who wanted to see my eyebrows, they I got them done today. They are uh, permanently done or semi-permanent. Um, it's a little swollen right now, and they are a little bit red because it is a tattoo on your eyebrow. But other than that, I love them because they look natural. I didn't want anything to overstate it. I don't wear a lot of makeup or I don't wear it at all. So I want it to look as natural as possible um, when it came to my eyebrows. So these are it. Uh, and Shantae you Slay did them. It took about an hour and a half. Um, the most part or the longest part was her uh, actually what she calls mapping the eyebrows. So like making sure that you like them and doing all the configurations and all of that stuff. So I do like them. I'm very happy. Uh, with them they look very natural so now we have to go through the healing process and I have to go back and have them because uh, they're going to fade and I have to have them filled in again and then I'm done uh, so anyway so I wanted to kind of talk about um, something that I noticed with my friends and I want to talk about apologizing so not apologizing when you haven't done anything wrong uh, cause when you do something wrong to somebody you, or you hurt their feelings or, you know, if there's a misunderstanding, you absolutely apologize. I want to talk about apologizing when you're trying to do good for yourself and other people feel like you're trying to rub it in their face. So example, uh, one of my homegirls, and let me just be clear, the people that I surround myself with, um, are very positive people. Uh, they like to get money, <laughs> they like to work hard, and they take care of their household. And I like to try to say that I do the same, so I actually want to always try to surround myself with people who do the same. And so um, one of my homegirls called me this morning, and we were just talking, and she said, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm bragging, but she made a substantial amount of money uh, yesterday uh, with somebody. And she told me how much she made and they gave her some extra money. And I was just like, man, that's dope. Like, I'm glad because she works hard. You know what I'm saying? We all work hard. And so when you work hard, you should be able to see the fruits of your labor. And one of those fruits may be extra money. And she said, you know, I just I found myself wanting to tell people that I made X amount of money, but I didn't want to rub it in anybody's face. And I was like, what? And then I got to thinking of another conversation with that I had with another homegirl last week. And we were talking about something, and she started apologizing. And she said, you know, I'm sorry if I, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, but what are you apologizing for? I think, especially at my age, we get so used to apologizing for being ourselves. We get used to apologizing for thriving, but people feeling a certain way about us thriving. And we shouldn't. And so I, I'm going to be like really, really quick. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to say is stop apologizing when you put the work in. Like, I, I, and I've found myself apologizing a lot of times. I'm no longer, and let me just be clear, <laughs> I'm no longer going to dumb myself down for anybody. You know, I work hard. I have worked hard and I'm currently working hard every day to maintain what I have and to get more. And I'm not getting ready to apologize for trying to obtain more. And I shouldn't. Why? Because I'm a child of God. And I mean, he made me in his image. I talk about this all the time. 
He made me in his image. And my dad, like I have an inheritance from my dad, he is my father. And so just like my daughter, whenever I pass, or even if I don't pass, whatever I have, she has. So whatever my father has, I have, right? And then I also have faith, which is the currency of heaven, to believe in anything that, you know, I can have, I can have it. As long as I work for it, because we do know that faith without works is dead. So I'm always going to continue to work. I'm always going to continue to have. That's what I strive for. So I can have something for my children's children's children and myself. And I like having things. Now, not having things like, and let me just be clear, I don't spend excessively. I don't. I tell people all the time, my mother made a great deal of money and so did my father. I was the only child. I had what I needed. It had everything I needed and most of what I wanted. I didn't grow up with lack at all. But one thing my mother instilled in me that I still carry to today is that I know how to spend money. So, uh, and I talk about this all the time, my degree is in fashion merchandising. So when I graduated from college, I went straight to corporate. I know what things cost when uh, purses, shoes, whatever clothing items, I know what those things cost to make. They don't cost a lot of money. So for me, I think it's dumb. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> to spend a bunch of money on somebody else's name and making them rich. When I would much rather spend it on making my name great and somebody paying me. Now, if you want to have a couple of items, you know, here and that. Now, I love Louis Vuitton. I absolutely love Louis Vuitton. I do, I do. But I'm not getting ready to go and buy a whole bunch of stuff with Louis Vuitton's name on it. I'm not getting ready to go buy a whole bunch of Gucci. I'm not getting ready to go buy a whole bunch of Coach. And I'm not hating on anybody who does. If that's what you choose to do, that's on you. But I can't. Like, I just, I don't care how much money I have. I physically would not even feel right spending money on that. Because to me, that money can be used for land. That's just like with cars like one thing my husband told, well my husband told me a lot but one thing he was into cars that was his thing he loved cars our house used to look like a car lot we had so many at one time but one thing he taught me was cars depreciate so he always wanted me to have the best car but it wouldn't be like he was like you can have a new car if you want to but as soon as you drive it off the lot it's going to depreciate so what he would tell me to do is or what he would do is he would get like the top of the line. So let's say it's, give an example, it's 2021 now. He would probably get a 2008, 2009, where it started, because you know, most of the time they don't change the body style of cars often. So he would get the most, re like the latest date of the most recent body style and just get it fully loaded. So you're still kind of getting the same car, but you're not paying all that money for it. And you still are cool. You know what I'm saying? And most time, which I'm going to do a video about this, probably sometime this week, is just because it's newer doesn't mean it's better. I have my own personal story with that. That's something that happened last week. So for me, my thing is when I buy a car, I buy my car to pay it off. I don't And have it as long as I can. Get a very good quality car. Uh, and then try to get it and pay it off. Make sure it's fully loaded. It's got all the bells and whistles and all of that stuff. But I, I don't want a huge car payment for what? So I can impress somebody? No. I don't care nothing about that. As long as I can get to A to B and I'm comfortable and my car is clean and it looks nice to me, <laughs> that's all that matters. Because I'm trying to be stay out of debt. The only debt I have is my student loan. That's it. And my mortgage. That's it. Both my cars are paid for. My house, I'm working on paying that off too. And my student loan is, you know, buying her up and get itself together. So, for me, spending money on stuff, on other people, I just, I don't want to do that. Give me land, something that's going to yield money back to me, right? And so, if I'm actively working hard to make sure that I have a comfortable living, I'm not going to keep apologizing to you for stuff that I do. I'm just not. And some people like sitting in a seat where they can try to judge you. Oh, she thinks she's all that. Oh, you know, because she's doing this and some, you know, she's trying to tell us this to show off. No, that's the position you sit in. Because here's the thing. I love to see women doing well. Like, that's just a thing for me. When I see women, I like to see everybody do well. Let's be clear. 
but I love to see women thrive, especially like single mothers or who the eyes were against them. Women who have a, like a story story and beat the odds. I love to see them thrive, but I love to see anybody thrive, but women or women that have a hard time, <coughs> excuse me, or didn't get a, you know, a fair shake in life. I love to see them beat the odds. So what do I look like? You know, and they're thriving and I'm sitting on there hating on them because that's essentially that's what I'm doing. You don't have to apologize for me. If you took time to, to get your weight off your body, if you took time to, you know, pay your debt off and you're debt free, if you took time to work really hard. So now you're vacationing, you know, overseas somewhere. If you're taking care of your kids, if you're doing anything, you should not apologize for having those things. Why? Because you worked hard to get them. And so that is all I wanted to tell you today. Just stop apologizing. Stop apologizing for having things that you worked hard to get. And I was having another conversation today just about like backbiting. Like black folks, we got to do better. Like we really got to do better. We have to do better. Like. What I have been running into, especially locally, <laughs> let me just be clear, in Knoxville, because and that's another reason I do a lot of business at a, in other states, because the problems that I, and they're not necessarily a problem, because if it feels like a problem, I just don't deal with it. I'm, I'm good at just going on about my business. I don't complain. But what I find here doing business in Knoxville among our people, our black women, is that you say you want to help and everybody come together and we're going to do this, this, that, and the third. Um, but in the background, you got something bad to say. Oh, she thinks she, oh, she said, and because you want to be the one, you want to be the main person who's getting all the accolades. You want to be the main person who came up with the idea. You want to be the main person. And here's the thing. I don't care anything about being in the front. And if you know me, know me, I love being in the background anyway. I love being in the background. I never wanted, I'm telling you, I never wanted to be in the front. God pushed me to the front. I hate speaking in front of people, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's either I walk in my calling or I'm not happy. I'm not living a full and healthy life. And then I also understand that my calling is not just about me. It's about other people. And so how dare I apologize to anybody about how I'm moving? I'm not going to do it. And when I say that again, I'm not saying if I hurt somebody's feelings or, you know, there's a mishap, I'm definitely going to apologize for that. What I'm saying is if I'm working hard on my business, if I'm working hard on my credit, if I'm working hard on my relationship, especially if y'all listen to me, when I pop out with my man, just know I worked hard. Like it's a daily thing. I work hard on the person I am. I work hard on my relationships that I have with my, you know, my friends. I work hard for that. So I'm not going to apologize. When you see me post my billionaires group, I'm not going to listen. That's a God thing. Not going to apologize for it. When you see me with my man, not going to apologize for it because I worked hard to get it. When you see me with properties and all of this other stuff, not going to apologize. But one thing I will do, I'm going to show you how to get it. But I'm not going to apologize for it. And I want to just extend that to you too. Don't feel bad about the things you have and the things that you're trying to obtain. Because anybody who got something to say about that and you're trying to legit do right, you might need to have them move around. And I was telling my hunger, this is the last thing I was telling her today. I was like, you know, <laughs> a lot of people say, you know, Reagan, she acts funny about the people she's around. I absolutely do. I absolutely do. Because the person I was talking to today was saying, you know, I found myself complaining and finding something wrong with everybody. I found myself, and I was like, that's because of the company you keep. Like, I have to be, I have to be in spaces where I can talk to somebody, and if I'm having a bad day, they're able to lift me up with whatever they got to say. If you complain, like, nobody, I, listen to me. I'm not playing. Nobody I hang around, nobody I talk to, nobody, I, nobody complains. I don't like complainers. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like when people complain because you can come to me with the problem, but we got to have a solution behind that problem because I'm not going to sit there and listen to it. I'm going to be honest. And with my life, how it is set up right now, 
I'm very strategic in who's around me. I'm strategic in who I deal with. I'm strategic in, you know, my business stuff like I, and I'm in purpose and on purpose with it. And that's how you have to be. And some people want to still stay connected to these people on this one level when they're meant to be up here. But you got people who are here and you're scared to go higher because you're still trying to appease the people down here. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Listen to me. Absolutely not. It's time to come up and it's time to stop apologizing for where you're going. I'm not going to do it. And you shouldn't either. You shouldn't either. You work too hard. I sacrifice. Listen to me. I sacrificed a lot. And I'm nowhere near where I want to be right now. Nowhere near it. But I can see the steps that I'm taking. The people that I'm surrounding myself with. Like, I was just thinking about my the billionaires group today. Like, what a blessing they all are. What a blessing they all are. Not just to me, but just, just, they're just a blessing to even be associated and be in the same breath as one another. And that's, those are the type of people I want to, you know, surround myself with, right? So anyway, I drug this out a little bit longer uh, than I needed to, but I was just feeling really passionate about it and um, wanted to talk to you guys about it. And don't feel like you got to apologize when you're working hard. You might need to check your circle, which I talk about all the time. If you're dating somebody raggedy, they bringing you down, you know, you're trying to lose weight, get right, get money, you know, just be better. And they're hating. Tell them to move around. <laughs> now, if you're married, I'm not talking to you because I don't miss anybody's marriage. <laughs> but if you're dating, there's a, like men are like buses. Women are like buses. One comes every 15 minutes. It may not be the one you want. But the right one will stop when they need to. And matter of fact, side note, may not even be time for some of y'all to be dating. Let's just be clear. Because you need to focus on what God told you to focus on uh, as far as your career and your family are concerned. Ask me how I know. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a blessed night. I am Reagan Adams with All Things Reagan. And Reagan says, I think it, I see it, I do it. Good night. <laughs>